Before Austin's new $125 million library opens this fall, the city wants to address homelessness at and around public libraries. This move comes amid questions about how library staff members can help those in need. And KXAN investigator Kylie McGivern has learned 311 complaints around the downtown library have increased. I come down here to read, you know, I like reading. At Falk Central Library, Clarence Holloway passes the time and catches up with old friends. It makes me feel good. Some are homeless, like he once was. It's a lot of them don't like to hang down around the Salvation Army and Arts because there's so many drugs and so many fights and all this and that. The library. You know, I was homeless for a while. A place of peace for people like Daryl Soigne to read, use a computer, and get out of the elements. It was like a safe heaven. Safe, a word he couldn't use to describe downtown shelters. Them drugs, you don't know what type of reaction they can have. They can hit you, they can kill you. But there are concerns about more complaints and crime at this library beyond staff's control. There's just so much they can do, you know, they're not the uh, police. APD records show in the last year, police have responded to 15 assaults at Falk Central Library and 22 within a 250 foot radius. We also found multiple theft and drug arrests. Is this something that we have? The Library Commission wants to change the way staff provides assistance to the homeless population. The folks who work at the branches, they see the same people a lot. Um, and what we're hoping to do is give them the resources they need to know how to react appropriately given a certain situation. There's talk about library staff partnering with other departments and even nonprofits. We want Austinites to feel comfortable coming to our, our branch libraries. We serve the Austin community, um, but we don't want to just uh, sweep aside uh, this homeless population. The Library Commission says within the last couple of months, staff have created procedures on how to address someone who is disrupting others. Now, if you get too many warnings, you will be removed from the branch for a given amount of time. The commission says it's too soon to say exactly how successful the new system is, but it is another effort to increase public safety. Last week, we showed you a new homeless report for the Austin area that saw a drop in the homeless population to just over 2,000 people. But when you take a closer look at the numbers, you can see there hasn't been any improvement in downtown Austin. According to the nonprofit ECHO, the homeless population has actually increased by 10% in District 9, which covers central and downtown Austin. And officials say on any given night, 472 people sleep at the Arch in the Salvation Army. Another 178 people sleep in the surrounding streets downtown. That's a total of 650 people waking up homeless every morning in downtown Austin.